Who would have thought Erith Sea was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. Well done, man. <laughs> Might do. I haven't decided yet. Now, I'm not an expert in this whole gravity thing. But it seems like maybe when the sea is literally right above About why we're going the to land, island, I mean. there might be some, uh... It is not common for Homs to visit this region. I don't know, that's a little sketchy. Reason, but forgive me. I, do I don't know, it, 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 it's on the Bionis, it's a giant freaking corpse, it's probably supported by some weird mucus membrane or something. How dare you Look at this jerk, loud. doesn't know about it's Atlantis. Okay, <laughs> we're not strangers anymore. Okay. It's okay, Melia, we're not strangers anymore. See, we're friends now, which means that I'm allowed to ask you weird questions about your past and what you're doing here. So then you'll listen to our story. Yeah, you don't have to knock on to help you this time. Yes. Tell me why you were here. Basically, it all started when... Flashback to Fiora dying. The love of my life died. I see. Oh no, how terrible. I had heard about the Mechon assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Uh, lucky is a word for it. Hey, what's that? To live above the filth that you are. Is that? You are looking at Prison Island. So the, that's Prison Island. That's where the Dementors are. Yes. And that is the Imperial capital, Alchemoth. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. I mean, it's par for the course for a Xeno game. In mind. Now, a floating ocean, on the other hand, that's perfectly normal. It's what not a floating ocean. Possible? It's a buoyant I ocean. <laughs> never damn it. You don't know. It doesn't freak you out. You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. Shut up, Dunman. <laughs> you will need Imperial. I love that Dunman just rolls with it. Just yeah, why not? Okay. We will travel to the capital first. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. God, this is just like Doom. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. Wait. I guess we don't have a when did Ryan go deep sea diving? Ryan. Onwards to the capital. That would be Still. uh when we were in Magna Forest, I guess? Man? It's a sight to behold. Huh. Well, I mean, technically they came up through the ocean, like so they, they were at the deep systems. part of it originally. Yeah, I'm glad that pressure has no effect on anybody. It's more of a concept than a so, yeah. actual issue. So, <laughs> basically, yeah, well, welcome to Aerith Sea, the simultaneously most calming and most frustrating area of the entire goddamn game. <laughs> It is a very pretty area, but it really sucks to navigate. Um, before we uh get go and see our main method of transportation, we're, let's go murder some of the local fauna. Incidentally, you could also attempt to swim the ocean if you wanted to, but there's no real point. Because most of where you want to be is, uh, well above the ocean, and there's no way to get back up there. I was really hoping you're, you were going to say that there was one point, and it was for an achievement, and it was, like, at the furthest end of the ocean. No. Something dumb, like it requires you to move to move in a straight line for thirty minutes straight. If there if that were an achievement, this definitely would be the place to do it. 
Anyway, yeah, to get around the, uh, the floating islands, we gotta go up to the teleporters and stand in the center for, like, a second or two, and then we just get teleported. And not run into the guide rails like an idiot. Shh. Oh man, I can see how this is totally intuitive as to where you would go. When, when you have, like, the map filled out, it does kind of make sense, because the, uh, teleporters go to the closest one they're pointed at. Yeah, and, like, each of the floating islands, like, where the teleporters are, have that little landing, so, like, you can kind of draw the line with your mind when you see it, but, yeah, like, this place is an absolute nightmare to get around the first time you're here. <laughs> yeah, which is why I decided to spend, uh, another 11 minutes or so just exploring Aerith Sea. Oh, I don't think it's come up yet, but, um... So those visions can also tell us about materials we will need to rebuild Colony 6 as well. Time to jump off a cliff. <laughs> very disappointed so far. This isn't really the right game to be jumping off cliffs. <laughs> Could have fooled me. <laughs> you want a Xenoblade X, Jabo? You're telling me you got an entire ocean underneath a floating city, and you're not gonna jump off? Oh, wait, we need to get to the floating city first. Ah, uh, you know details, but sometimes you gotta get some practice in. <laughs> also, I. I'd never tried it. I don't honestly know if you can, like, literally jump off Alchemoth into the air sea. I don't think you can. Like, yeah, I, I think, like, like Alchemoth is its own, like, separate area. So, yeah. Ooh. It probably is, and that's kind of disappointing. I hate this game. Over on this island, on the, uh, the side of the camera that we're not pointed at, there is a windmill. Or lighthouse? I think it's a lighthouse, actually. That has no relation to a future event or repair or anything. Ricky just likes those. The hero pond needs his, some, um, uh, very soft tails to sleep. Hero pond needs beauty sleep. Maybe, maybe he wouldn't need these very soft pillows if he took off his fucking spike armor before he took a nap. <laughs> like, that cannot be comfortable. But what if the monsters found him in his sleep? Well, then he'd be yeah, dead just like a, every other Nopon. You don't see a turtle take off its shell when it's tired. Turtle power. <laughs> I love how you got uh, literally blue balled on getting that item. Yeah, that that happens a lot. It's like you were one pixel away from it, and then you got aggroed. Way. Uh, you can also use the teleporters to um, get out of a fight if you're uh, if you're dying, or you just don't want to fight. This uh, this lighthouse will be important later for a couple of side quests. Uh, I believe Melia's fourth skill tree also comes from a side quest here too. Ah! 
Man, we're gonna get into double digits of hovering reefs, aren't we? Mercifully, I don't think we will be. The other uh, unfortunate thing about navigating Earth Sea is that everything looks kind of samey. Like it's kind of kind of hard to get your bearings when Hover Reef Six is uh not that much different from Hover Reef Three. You know, I just want to point it out that um, I don't really get the point of a floating city. You kind of expect that. It's something about, like, defense, like, ah, oh, you know, it's bugs or whatever, I'm gonna get to it. But it kind of defeats the purpose if you have literal teleporters that, like, constantly can lead you to that city, and also the Mechon can fucking fly. <laughs> I just think there's a design flaw here, you know? Well, if, if there's one thing the High Enti are really good at, it's sheer fucking hubris, so, you know? <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty apt. This one seems to be broken. I can see how this would be, uh, not ideal to attempt to navigate. There's also a, a real, real shortage of uh, landmarks to travel to. Yeah, I think like when I played through this, I I did it all in one shot, and it took me about probably two hours from <laughs> from the start, from start to finish, to get like to actually get to Alchemont, so... By the time I got there, I was just basically like, fuck this shit, and then I, like, put the game up for, like, a week afterwards. <laughs> yeah, the, uh... Try trying to find Alchemont in the original version was, uh... a little harder than it is now, considering we... right As of right now, we can just follow the dotted line, but in the original, you kind of had to... You, you can only tell which direction Alchemoth was on a compass. Trying to figure out which, which teleporters to take to get there, that's on you to figure out. I mean, you could kind of eyeball it by just like, you know, moving the camera around and looking up because like it, it constantly is there just like hovering just out of reach, taunting you, but uh... <laughs> yeah, no, navigating this place, I think in either version is kind of a nightmare. I mean, I kind of dig this, uh, like, flying stingray. This, this owns. That's a good enemy. Yeah, that's a, that, it's a pretty rad design. I like that the Mind Blast went off even after Melly was toppled. Just the, uh, the laziest Mind Blast you can, uh, get off. <laughs> Lawless victory. Not bad, not bad. But we mustn't be careless. Man, sure is a shame we're never gonna get that heart to heart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a there is a side quest in Colony Nine that requires you to have rank four affinity with between two female characters, 
and that's a pain in the ass to get, but that does that did force me to get a bunch of the uh, Sharla and Melia events. Because seeing each one of those heart to hearts uh, gets you halfway to the next rank. Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? <laughs> this is her dumb man thinks she was a guy Thank the entire time. These homes and this Nopon are my guests. I love how See, none of them put together, together until this exact moment moves. that she was a Hyentia. As you wish. What's going on? I have no <laughs> idea. Melia, are you? And that's why we weren't allowed to take the headdress off. If only someone could, could understand see into basic the foreshadowing. Of the tone about this. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. <laughs> I understand. The emperor always hangs out with like common people, right? I will arrange That's how that an works. audience with the emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. A great way to lose trust That's with someone real quick. Thousand years later. Lady Melia. Wow, says. can't believe we've already broken our promise to Melia. Shulk, you're thinking the same as me. Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> and jump off. More of these guys. <laughs> 